Welcome back to the second part of the video how to paint a really cool gas lens car. At part one you saw how we built this truck and now it's up to you how you wanna style it with colors. I am using really cheap um, acrylic colors um, and the, out of big bottles and some of the small ones but the small ones are you know more expensive than the big ones and now it's up to you if you like to have uh, the look like camouflage or you prefer that the old um, luck will shine out of a rusty part or you prefer to make the car extremely rusty like this. I think I want to realize the truck in this kind of painting and for that you have to make it totally black at first. Yeah, so use one of your brushes black color and paint the whole car black. The first step will be to make the whole truck black. So no yellow color allowed to shine through the black color and also in the side here in the bottom of the rack and the roof and also for example the back window over there make it totally black except the front color uh, front window sorry so you will see the result soon and if there will be parts like this wait until it's dried and then put another black part on it and you also are allowed to paint the, the, the wheels as well because you want to have a great used style. So take your time, make it black, see you soon. After we paint the whole car black and the primer will be dry, um, we are using the first color as a technique called dry brushing. For that you are using a brittle brush and the first color will be something like this. It's uh, called Umbra. Yeah, it's uh, dark brown, something like that. And um, dry brushing means that you are not paint the color of the car um, before you're painting the brush should be near dry yeah it's so you're using a kitchen towel or something like that and will make the the wet color away of the brush so you see at first there is much color and then getting less color and with this, you're painting the car at nearly all the parts. So you're using your nearly dry brush and go over the car, except the light bars and the tarp and maybe the lights at the front and the back. So not too much color using, be careful and 
and we'll see the result of using the first color dark brown the second will be a lighter brown so the body of the car will be rusty yeah okay so the first brown part will be done um, the whole car including the, the wheels and the light bar and uh, here the wire will be painted in dark brown and you will see um, the shadows here looking black outside so it's great over there and now we are using the lighter brown to give um, the car more rusty style so we're using the same brush the same technique and go over all parts especially parts you want to have extremely rusty so the wheels and maybe the the, the, the shields but not too much color it has, just has to be an accent so because you want to see the dark brown shining through so be careful take your time you will see the result and after this dry brushing um, part, we are using a small toothpick to make the shield points. I'm showing right now. Um, more exciting because each point you did with the wood glue you give a light brown color to show them So now you can see all the little dots in rusty brown, but that's not the the, uh, the finishing. So now you can see the dots in rusty brown, but it's not finished yet. Um, after this part of colors, you're using something like a sand color um, to uh, give the car some sparkles around so it's uh, driving through a desert and the mud and everything will be a part of the creation. But uh, now you can paint the tarp as well because we need everything uh, ready before we are making sparkles. So the tarp slash and the lights and some individual little things like you can make a peace sign or a smiley or some numbers. I don't know. It's up to you what you prefer. And I'm using its surface primer, but it also fits like normal color and it's military green and with this you can paint the whole tarp or you can make the tarp as well camouflage or what you like and I will make the lights in the front and then the back using yellow and red 
you can mix them together for example also to a orange or what you like now it's up to you okay many red i don't mix it together i just paint the lights here and after drying you can make a small white dot for make a reflection of the light for example i show you later so Okay, now you can see I finished it over here a little bit um, silver, so using a gunmetal. And because it is in Ford F150, I make it over here and here blue. I'm not really sure if I try to write Ford inside with uh, the, the white color it's really tricky because it's really really small but now it's time to show you the little white dots in the lights that it seems that there will be a reflection so You put the small dots, for example, in the right both side. On each. light and also at the back And yeah, for the fourth sign, it's up to you. I think I really want to try it. So give me some time. Not 100% perfect, but maybe it looks like Ford. Our next and nearly last step will be to make some mud on the car because we are going uh, driving through a desert and of course everywhere the sand will be inside the car and at the car and on the wheels and the mud will be everywhere nearly so you can make the same as before 
dry brushing, whatever you want, how much you want. And give the whole car a really cool look. So paint it on each part you think it has to be sandy, muddy, what else? So I'm going to paint it nearly everywhere because sand will be really rough. So going through the old car or not, I like, I will show you my result. I'm going also over to the front window here. You see, and if you wanna know other types of painting cars. Welcome to look, for example, video part number three, as shown in the video before, or I will make some other videos, other kinds of painting. So maybe you can use some tips. And have fun with your hobby. I know it's a little bit nerdy, but why not? <laughs>